Hold on. Why is Pikachu eating ketchup? Pea ketchup. Is that the Galean form of Pikachu? Why isn't Pikachu in... Is Pikachu in Sword and Shield? I don't know. <laughs> we get started with this video give it a what 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 thumbs up that's right destroy that like button bro give your boy a like all right we have some dope nintendo switch news items for this video the first one shout out to the homie black baron he's captured footage of Rogue company on twitter this is the first Gameplay we have of Rogue Company running on the Nintendo Switch outside of the Nintendo Direct, which I think was just a generic trailer for all systems. But as you can see in this footage right here, the game is looking good. Now it's loading, gotta reload it. This live is happening. All right, but the game is looking good. It's been confirmed on the Switch. The game will run at 60 frames per second, will support cross-play and cross-progression across all platforms. This is a 4v4 a shooter type game and <coughs> the game is looking good, man. Now, this game is made by High res Studios and High res Studios. They've already done great ports to the Switch. Paladins, another shooter that runs at 60 frames per second. And so it looks like they've done it again. This was one of my most anticipated games at the last Nintendo Direct. Still don't have a release date on this game, but it's on track for 2020. Coming in 2020, Roll Company on the Nintendo Switch. Day one by easy man i'm gonna be high I'm, i am hyped for this game can't wait can't wait can't wait for road company and so the switch version is looking good man i like it when third party developers optimize that switch all right next news item <sighs> pokemon man First, the game right now is being review bombed on Metacritic. It's at like a user score of like a two right now <laughs> on Metacritic. And so um, fans are not pleased with the final product. And even though I'm liking the game, I can't argue against some of these complaints, especially after watching Digital Foundry just did their tech analysis of Pokemon Sword Shield and they're sort of echoing the sentiments of a lot of fans that more could have been done to the game. The game really isn't utilizing uh, the full potential of the Nintendo Switch. Bro, and they made some glaring... Um, points that I didn't even notice yet because I didn't probably get to these parts some of these sections in the game but there's some of the towns are just really barren it's like they copied and pasted um, buildings and most of the towns you can't even go inside the buildings but some of the buildings that you go in like some of the apartments is just a copy and paste from apartments so you go into the door of one apartment then you exit and you go into the door of the apartment right next to it and the furniture is placed in the same exact location. Um, they're saying they didn't call the devs lazy or anything, but they're saying that um, the more effort could have been done, um, could have been taken into the game, and adding it onto the fact that a lot of Pokemon are missing. 
We don't have P Ketchup. P Ketchup is not a real Pokemon. Look, he's in Ketchup. That a lot of Pokemon are Miss Pikachu is in the game, bro. <laughs> he's in the trailer. <laughs> Um, bro, that'd be crazy to have a Pokemon game and no Pikachu. That'd be madness. Fans would really riot. But, um, crazy, crazy, crazy how this game has been so controversial. Now, to Digital Foundry's credit, they did have a lot of good things to say about the game, too. Like, some of the lighting effects were good. But they did say, like, some of the textures were even, like, um, not the best quality. And bro, in the Digital Foundry um, um, tech analysis of this game, I was like, man, the game looks decent. Like, game looks good. And then they showed a clip of the Pokemon trailer running in the wild area, and it looked good. And then the very next clip, they showed <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles 2 running in the open environment. And I have to say, that's when I was like, whoa, the Switch could do a little more than what the game is offering. And I get it. It's a more Japanese anime type of art style that they're going with um, for the game, more kid friendly. But um, you still can't give them excuse excuse of like some of the recycled animation they called them out on some of the um reused animations too they had pikachu uh, side by side and so the game has good and bad points to it i still think the good outweighs the bad but i get why why fans are upset i understand it i can understand why um they're upset with the game more could have been done and i'm wondering Maybe Nintendo, they just had this deadline. Um, Nintendo usually, if a game isn't finished, they'd be like, no, we're not going to release it now. But with Pokemon, for Pokemon to have missed this holiday season, I think that was a no-go by Nintendo. Um, and so I think um, Game Freak was possibly under a, a, a strict timeline. This game has to go out this holiday season Especially with Nintendo selling Switch lights. Bro, the hot item this holiday is going to be a Switch light and a Pokemon game for a kid. And so, I could see why um, the game probably wasn't quite done, but they had to still um, release it. So far, I'm liking the game. Um, I'm still I'm playing through the game. I'm liking it. I got all three starters. Man, this is how much I like the game. I said this in my last video. I didn't even download Star Wars Fallen Jedi yet. I'm going to be too backed up, bro. If I play, if I start playing Star Wars, I know it's going to happen. I'm not going to finish Pokemon. I have already didn't finish Luigi's Mansion 3. Haven't even started Dragon Quest 11s. I can't do it. I can't do it all. Um, and so, that's it, with, that's it with that. All right. Before I end this video, speaking of Pokemon... I am giving away Pokemon to a lucky subscriber. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter and you get in the running for a copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield. If you have Sword, you can win Shield. If you have Shield already, you can get Sword and you'll have both games. Um, or you could give it away as a perfect Christmas gift, bro. It's a win-win. And if you want to join the dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, get on my Switch friend list, game with me every day, become a sponsor through Twitch, um, YouTube, or Patreon. Links are in the description. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about uh, the news items we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before we go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Catch up. That's creative, bro. Don't hate.